What's up there YouTube? Just making a um quick video on the new Aquascape. You know, I and I'm gonna really try and make this one a quick video. I know I say that all the time and then it'll be like ten minutes long. So uh yeah. I don't know if you watched the last video, but uh I had like an outbreak. Um well not really an outbreak, but I had uh you know the coral the pulsate and zinnias and they, they really took over my whole tank. They took over I'd say about 70% of the rocks so uh, I wanted to get them out of the tank it was just looking horrible um, so I ended up having to take you know most of those rocks out and cut them off you know in each one cut each one off the rock so uh, I ended up having to break down my whole old aquascape which is fine you know because I, I like changing things up anyway I was kind of getting tired of the way that would look so um so yeah I'm just showing you the new the new aquascape going on here I'll get a little closer in a minute uh a few things I did do was uh I took out about 40 pounds of of this like really dense thick uh large Fiji rock that I had in there this is Buna Ultra Rock that I have in there, that you're looking at right now that rock that's Buna Ultra Rock uh, but I took out about 40 pounds of the, this Fiji rock that I had kind of like as the base of the structures, you know. It was the original rock that I bought, and I was just using it, like I said, as, as, as a foundation. So I ended up taking that out and putting it in my uh, my sump. I used to have rubble rock in the sump, and I, I took that out because it, it was just like causing a lot of detritus build up. So I, I put that 40 pounds in the sump, took out the rubble rock. And uh, so, you know, I wanted it, I wanted to give it like a little bit more. It was looking too 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 packed in the tank, so, you know. So I wanted to open up a little bit. It, it's hard to tell from this angle. I'll show from the side in the corner a little bit, you know. But it really opened it up a lot. It really did. I pushed everything to the back, and uh, that with the removal of that rock, it looks a lot. It looks a lot better in my opinion. I like it. So, uh, you know, I got to admit, <laughs> I kind of. I had this tank running on cruise control and, and haven't really given it the attention it, it needs for a little over a month. I didn't do a water change. I didn't. I didn't do anything to this tank. All I did was fill up the auto top off reservoir. I mean, there was corals like my A cans down there that were buried under the sand. For I mean, this one over here. I'll get closer in a second. They were buried under the sand for probably weeks. Uh, same thing with this this bird's nest coral. You know, you can tell this thing's probably about 75% dead. You know, that thing fell behind one of the rocks and it was just sitting there dying. And I, I didn't even stick my hand in there to, to get it. You know, but you can see these A cans and yeah, they're doing good. Like some of them, this one's doing good, this one's doing good. You know, these two were kind of buried under the sand, so you could tell they're kind of struggling a little bit. Um, like I said, I didn't do anything to this tank. It's, it's, the the glass was getting like this really thick algae. I was I was cleaning the glass, but it, some of it was getting so thick I couldn't even get it off. Uh, but you know, time to step it back up. I, I've been real busy, but you know, I want to get back on top of my game. So you know, did a water change. I I cleaned the glass. I went over with razor blades and got as much crap off as possible you could really tell from this angle here how much uh, space I opened up they just have a ton more space and I like that you know I, I like the minimal look tanks but uh, I just never end up doing it <laughs> let's darken it up a little there we go so that's that's what I got going on now Show you some of the some of the caves and rock structures I got going on. My anemone is all the way back there, still chilling. Got yeah, this one cave here, another one, kind of like a tunnel going through there. Some more tunnels and you know, every time I switch up the rock structure, the fish seem to really like it. They're dipping in and out. They really like it. And uh, that's what that's what I like to watch. So, 
Sorry, I'm shaking a little bit. Just had a coffee. But, you know, for the most part, everything's surviving. Um, I don't, I don't know if anybody knows, but I don't dose my tank at all. You know, I just, uh, so my curls aren't going to be doing as good as other people dose. You know, they're not going to be just growing and growing and growing. I rely on, on, on my water changes to kind of uh, replenish all the, the minerals and elements that corals need. So when I fall off on water changes, you know, my tank shows it. But for the most part, it's doing good. You know, just wanted to uh, show you guys what, what's going on and what it's looking like now. And uh, that's it, you know. So hopefully my next video uh, <laughs> will be of the 90 gallon fresh water if I could start getting that thing together and uh, you know when I when I I'll get it out as soon as possible alright later